Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we're going to be talking about an article from our friend Screen Rant. Yep, so from Screen Rant, we're going to be talking about Green Lantern's nemesis. Yep, so Green Lantern's nemesis just proved he's more dangerous without powers. Hector Haymond is one of Green Lantern's oldest foes, but Infinite Frontier just made him deadlier than ever by stripping him of his powers. Okay, one in, there are some spoilers for Infinite Frontier number three. Hector Heyman has been Green Lantern's earthly nemesis for many years. But thanks to Infinite Frontier, he's just been stripped of his powers and rendered deadlier than ever. Long considered something of a joke, Hector Heyman has returned with a deadly new agenda in Infinite Frontier number 3, which is on sale now in print and digital. Heyman has a new look, a new team, and a new mission, suggesting he may finally have what it takes to destroy Green Lantern, or at least someone with similar powers. Hector Heyman first appeared in 1961's Green Lantern number 5 was created by John Broom and Jill Kane. After exposing himself to mysterious meteorite, Heyman developed fantastic psychic powers, levitation, telekinesis, and astral projection. Among others, exposure to the meteor also caused Heyman's head to swell to gigantic proportions, and over time his physical body began to atrophy. Despite his amazing powers and having appeared in 2011's critically blasted Green Lantern film, Heyman has never lived up to his potential, and while he hates Hal Jordan with a passion, he's failed to make the same impression on fans as foes like Sinestro and Blackhand. But thanks to Infinite Frontier, Heyman may finally be a contender. It all all it took was losing his awesome powers. The issue comes from Joshua Williamson, Paul Pelletier, Jesus Marino, Tom Durenick, Zermanico, Ra Raul Fernez, Norm Rapper, Romeo Fajaro Jr., and Tom Napolitano. Now, these are just names that are artists who just are in the story. So, related to this article is Green Lantern is secretly undermining a Justice League ally. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about something else. Roy Harper, the former Arsenal and sidekick to Green Arrow, has returned from the dead, complete with Black Lantern ring. Roy is apprehended by the Department of Extra Normal Operations and brought to a ship to Earth's orbit. There he learns Hector Heyman is now working for the DEO and that the organization is handling threats from the multiverse. Heyman is no longer mutated, saying he's been reset the factory settings. Heyman tells Roy that the DEO wants his Black Lantern ring, feeling it could be from outside the mainstream multiverse. Heyman uses sonic technology to keep Roy from accessing the rain's powers, then transports the ship into the bleed, the space between universes. Thankfully, Heyman's plan is stalled by the arrival of a group who seem to be an alternate reality infinite. Infinity Incorporated, though they end the issue easily ready to attack Roy, who takes on a zombie-like appearance when he uses his Black Lantern abilities. And there's a picture down below, and you can see it on ScreenRant.com. Hector Heyman has lost the psychic powers that initially gave him his edge. But he has gained authority and a sense of purpose in return. 
While he may no longer be capable of mental attacks, he still has the smarts to use sonic-based technology against Roy Harper. Heyman, thanks to the DEO, has the means to operate throughout the multiverse, a far larger scale than he has ever accomplished before. While it remains to be seen if this will be Hector Heyman's permanent status quo, it's fascinating to see him finally live up to his potential, going from one of DC's pettiest supervillains to a man with his eyes on multiple realities. Thanks to the Infinite Frontier, one of Green Lantern's greatest foes, Hector Heyman, now has opportunities to show the DC Universe just how deadly he can be. Taking a villain who truly hates superheroes and giving him the resources to pursue his vendetta across realities. So there you go guys, that is just a little bit of some information about uh, Green Lantern's nemesis. And so if you guys like this content, please hit that thumbs up button. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.